Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Curse of Monkey Island with me, Mr. Muck Luckable. In the last episode, we made our way finally, finally, to Blood Island after defeating Captain Rottingham and getting the map back to the island. And so we got here, there was a slight mutiny. We have now lost our crew of uh, Haggis and Van Helgen and the other guy, but they're, they're working on fixing the ship and going back home to become barbers, so, so be it. We're fine on our own. Uh, that being said, we have just come to this place and had our fortune told, which will involve death, apparently, according to this tarot card. Um, and what else did we see? There's a there's a cabaret show going on, and uh, lots of tiki masks. It seems like a nice nice party. This guy is obviously very hungover, so we're going to go talk to him now and see what he has to say. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm... Stop yelling! I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Something to clear his head? Ooh, what could that... What could that be? Shaving soap? Right, so let's think. A good hangover cure. Well, listen, listen, matey. You should have just drank more water during the night. That would help. You, uh, water would actually help. Oh, let's take the jar. Maybe we can fill that with something. Please, stop touching things. I swear I'll never drink again. Alright, no, we can't do that. Uh, can we take his glass? No. Pickles. Hey, a pickle might... No. <laughs> How would a pickle help? I don't know. Nah, they go straight to my hips. Recipe book? Pirate potables. Uh, a spittoon. That's disgusting. I don't carry around other people's spit anymore. I've grown past that stage. <laughs> oh yeah, that used to be the case, didn't it? Um, hmm. Vase or vase? It's made from porcelain. Oh, that's right. We still don't know the uh, the story behind Guybrush and porcelain, but something's dodgy there. Mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. It's a picture of a really goofy looking pirate wannabe. Oh, wait. <laughs> It's a picture of the galley of gravy. Oh, it's a gravy boat. <laughs> oh god, that's so stupid. That's so dumb. Uh, what brochures have they got? It's full of brochures for Big Whoop. The place for pirates and pirates at heart. Yep, can we take any? Oh, we can. Oh, cool. Alright. Uh, good, so we can actually pick up something in this place. So we still need to get something for him to not be hung over. Have we got any uh, you know, aspirin or paracetamol or anything? Where, where am I going? Oh, going upstairs. At a very weird angle, it looks like. Man, there's lots to explore, isn't there? This place is big. Lots of portraits on the wall. It's the Duchess Cream of Good Soup. Of the Noodle Good Soups. It's Count Gaspacho Good Soup. The cold-hearted canning magnet. <coughs> All right, let's go into. Why is there a daybed there? What's that? What daybed? Comfy. There's so much stuff on the walls as well. Peter and Victoria Swa good soup. Marquis and Marquess of Consomme. Why does it anything to do with soups, man? It looks out onto the cemetery. Okay, let's just go in here. It's locked. Oh, let's not then. Let's look at some more. Lovely portraits, I'm sure. That guy looks... Minerva Stronheim Good Soup. Baroness of Borscht. This guy looks very... Very scary. Uh, Baron C. Lambert Chowder Good Soup. Pioneer of crouton technology. For God's sake. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. Oh, maybe that is the guy then. Chowder. What about in here? Okay, cool. We can go in here. Why is everything covered? This is freaky. Is this like a... Oh, there's a nail. Take that. Pull the nail. Oh, that's gonna get rid of the. It's gonna drop the. I can't pull it in. That's gonna drop the portrait. Outside, isn't it? Um. I don't want to cut that. No, that's not gonna work anyway. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. And I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. Are we supposed to know who these people are? I don't think we are. There's just like all these weird. Pun names and stuff. What do we have to do with this now? We have to do something. We definitely have to do something. Uh, what could it be, though? 
I have no freaking clue. Talk to the nail. <laughs> nah. Nah, nah, I, I wouldn't do that either. I can't pull it in. Porthole. I can see the hallway. Oh, wait, can I have looked through the porthole of the other door? Oh, oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can see what's inside then. No, I can't. There's no option to click it. Well, great. So there's not really much up here then. Can I pull this off the... Oh, pick up. Maybe that'll work. It's nailed to the wall. Damn you. Okay. Alright. Well, I guess that's sort of it up here. Let's head back downstairs. And let's head to... Hmm. Where else could we go? Cemetery, maybe? Yeah, let's head... Oh, crap. I think I'm going the wrong way. Let's go... <gasps> oh, cooking pot. What's in there? It's a big, heavy-looking cast iron cooking pot. So I probably won't be able to pick it up. I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. Can we use lick the barbecue? <laughs> Licking the barbecue is not my idea of a good time. They do pick some odd things on, the, on like the talks, the talk bit of the selection. It's always really odd. Let's go. Yeah, let's go back this way then. Oh, okay, crap. We could go down there, which I think is the right way. Yeah. Aha! Here we go. So that's where we just were up there. What is in the cemetery? I wonder. Lots of puns on the tombstones, I'm guessing. Your company name here. <laughs> Maybe not puns then. There's a plaque. It says Tex Venture. Blood Island Municipal Housing for the Deceased. It's locked. Of course it would be locked as a tomb, isn't it? What about a crypt? The Good Soup Family Crypt. Ooh. It's locked. It's locked, yes. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer. With a half twist of lime. <laughs> yeah, I don't want that cocktail. I'll, I'll pass on that, thanks. Ooh. Oh, there's a dog. An old dog. Oh man, there's lots of crap here. Workbench. It's a Blackbeard's deckmaker workbench. It's a scrap metal recycling bin. Can I take these? Take the tools. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. How do you know that? Uncarved tombstones, carved tombstones, smelly dog hair. Why? Why is that an option? What on earth? It's every bit as stinky as the rest of this dog. I want some of his fur. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding. This game is just bizarre, isn't it? Now we've got a pile of smelly dog hair. It's a tuft of that old blind dog's hair. Right. Can we... Hello, dog. Ooh, ooh. Do we bark? Do we woof? Do we howl? Do we pant? Do we arf arf? Let's arf arf. Not having any of it. Pant. Why is he wearing glasses for? And finally. Yeah, he's just not very social, I guess. Hmm. Maybe he would like... It says old blind pew. Oh, he's blind. Yeah, of course. So maybe he would like some... Maybe he'd like a biscuit. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, that's... What does that mean, then? Why, why, what was the point of that? Oh. Oh, I don't know. What's this campfire? Someone should really learn to properly extinguish campfires. Do we have to put it out? Uh, spit on. Spitting on the fire won't put it out. <laughs> spit on. Uh, sorts of coffins. Looks like the gravedigger is a little behind on his burials. Speaking of which, where is this damn gravedigger? Is he in here, I wonder? 
Can we open the door? Can we look between the crack of the doors? I can't see anyone in there right now. Oh, okay, fair enough. And we can't open the doors. It's locked tight. No. All right. Oh, there's a chisel. Let's take that. Let's just steal all of his tools and a mallet. That might be quite useful. Yes. Great. And that. Yes, excellent. I love picking up tools. Mm, what does that tombstone say? It's beginning to spell a word. What could it be? Rib roast? Riboflavin? Perhaps R I D. Rest in death. Can we use the chisel on it and finish it for him? That's not my job. Oh. It's a pile of new tombstones. All right, so I think I think we came here. We've we've fed the dog for some. Oh, the doghouse, which is an old coffin. It oh, looks like. <laughs> oh, maybe we have to put something in his dog bowl as well. But I don't know what that could be yet. Let's head back. Now we've got some tools. Oh, the chimney. Hmm. He's gonna hmm that, are you? Yeah. All right. Let's head back then to where? Where do we go? That's the question. Up to the house? What's that way? Oh. What's up there? It's a windmill. Oh, that looks cute, doesn't it? Windmill blades? They're spinning around the top of the windmill. Yep, that's how windmills tend to work, Guy Rush. Some sharks out there as well. Great. Please don't be locked. Please don't be locked. It's locked. Oh, why must you always be locked? It's locked. Yeah, I know. Can I use the mallet on it? I don't know. Open the damn door. I can't use the mallet with that. And why is there a barrel up there? There's a barrel at the top of the windmill. That's very... Very intriguing. There's a window. It's an open window at the top of the windmill. Okay. As I said in the last episode, this is just the ooh, the exploration part of the of the, the the game now. It's a chili pepper. Well, can I take some? Oh, that that will that will that's the hangover cure. Pepper, surely. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. Let's try and give that to him. Have we got definitely got all of that? Yep. I only need one. Okay, good. Let's go talk, talk to the guy, see if that will help him. Oh, hang on. Oh, crap. I've got him away. Can we go up there as well? <gasps> There's a tiki village up here. This oh. village is deserted. How curious. This could be very dangerous. They might be cannibals. Assorted fruit and vegetables. Block of tofu? Mmm. What the hell, man? <laughs> I love when that sort of stuff happens. Well, I haven't gotten any use for this fruit. Really? So you got use for a big block of tofu, but not healthy, fresh fruit and veg. Mm. Very classy. It is. Can we steal it? Mm, no. Oh. It's an idol of Ricky, the helpful god of finger bowls. There's another one over there as well. It's a statue of Myron, god of parsley and other garnishes. It's a statue oh, that was of Myron, Whoops. god of parsley and other garnishes. Okay, so they have lots of... Oh, what's that a god of, I wonder? Pepper? Salt? It's Merton, bull-headed god of tiny silverware. Silverware, of course, of course. Uh, what is this? What's an auger? It's an auger. I feel like I should know what that is, but I don't. Um, it's an auger. I don't know what that is. I feel dumb now. What's this? Measuring cup. Take that. I have a feeling that we're going to need to make like some sort of recipe for the guy to like hang hangover cure. Maybe. Oh wait, have I, have I? I thought I had a recipe book, didn't I? Oh no, there's one. There's one on the bar, wasn't there? That's right. Ah, it's holding cute little shrunken head brochettes. Hmm. And what about? Is that it? Who's that? Who's that idol of? 
It's a hand-carved mask in the likeness of Leroy, God of Pudding. Ooh, I like this god. He'd be my favourite god. This is my god now. I pray to that one. Pudding. How does he know all this stuff, though? That's what I want to know. Are we going up to the mountain? Are we going up to the volcano? That would be pretty cool. Oh, I think we are. <gasps> oh my god, it's a guy with a lemon head. There's a guy with a lemon head mask. Or maybe that is just his head. He has some terrible, terrible disease that makes his head a lemon. Uh, hello? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. You look familiar. Does he? Oh, if he does, I can't remember where from. Let's just be nice. No, let's just go with the classic intro. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. A pirate, huh? Well, then you must realize the inherent danger in wandering into a village populated by cannibals. Oh, it is the cannibal. See, yeah, it is the cannibals from the last game. Then crap. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's just get this out of the way. You know, I can hold my breath underwater for ten minutes. I see. What if the water's boiling? Do you think you could last about forty-five minutes? It's been so long since I've made any bullion. How I did love bullion. Oh. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No. No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. Yeah, okay, th that's good to hear. A, pa a paradigm shift, yep. Uh, pa paradigms? Pair of dimes? We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but, but not anymore, <laughs> right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh my god, that's really creepy. That was getting a bit Hannibal Lecter right there. I was just waiting for the nice Chianti. Uh, are you, uh, aren't you afraid the vo uh, volcano will destroy your village? Nice village you have. Got to run by. Let's ask him, yeah. Aren't you afraid the volcano will destroy your village? The volcano? Oh no. Mount Acidopolis is completely harmless. We have curried favor with Sherman, the all-powerful god of the volcano. The god of the volcano likes spicy foods? Shut up or I'll eat you. Okay. When we first landed on this island, the volcano god was most upset, belching out smoke, vomiting up lava. It was disgusting, really, and potentially hazardous. We knew we had to do something to pacify the volcano god, and we assumed a good sacrifice would do the trick. A reasonable assumption. But when we threw the sacrifice into the volcano, Mount Acidopolis erupted violently. We thought Sherman was upset at us, so we started making sacrifices every day. We tried everything. Fish, poultry, livestock, phenylalanine. The usual. Then one day, we tried Brie. There was a huge eruption that nearly killed us all. What happened? Sherman is lactose intolerant. Ah, <laughs> uh, it all makes sense now. Now, Sherman is on a very strict diet. He only gets fresh fruit, vegetables, and of course, soy products for the protein so important to muscle building. Yeah, so uh, the, the tofu, I guess, would be very useful for that. Um, stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. Oh, do we need to throw something in? Hmm. Uh, do we, do we try? Stand aside, I mean to visit the volcano. I'm afraid I cannot allow that. Our ritual offering is about to begin. Terrific! I'm fascinated by your quaint tribal customs. Postcards and slides are available in the lobby. Non-cannibals are forbidden from witnessing the actual ceremony. That's so unfair. Tell it to the volcano gods. I don't make the rules, you know. Well, damn. When, yeah, when does it start, then? When does the ceremony begin? It was supposed to have started half an hour ago. Even now, members of my village are preparing a human-like sacrifice for the Volcano God. Human-like? Due to the delicate nature of the Volcano God's digestion, we can't actually feed him real humans. 
So we sacrifice a human substitute. It doesn't really taste like a human, but it has a similar texture. So what's the holdup? We're still waiting for our featured guest. And that would be... Who's your featured guest? He's an ambassador from one of the other islands. It's all part of a new cannibal outreach program between the villages. Apparently not all villages are as punctual as ours. Uh, I'll help you find him. What does he look like? I don't know. He should be dressed for the ceremony. And he'd better be a vegetarian. We specifically asked for a vegetarian. So what, what's he look like? He should be dressed smartly. What does your guest look like again? I've never seen him, but he should be dressed for the ceremony. Okay, alright. Uh, well, I'm gonna say goodbye then. I'll uh, see you around. Um, and just definitely, yep, yeah, can't even click anywhere near there. He's not gonna let us. Fine, fair enough. But hey, it's nice to bump into the cannibals again, and they do seem to be a lot friendlier. Well, they were quite friendly before as well. Um, we now have another task though, yet another one. So, as well as finding Elaine and finding the diamond, we've also got to find their vegetarian guest for the ritual or sacrifice or something, which I guess we'll try and do next episode. <laughs> God, this, is, this game just gets weirder and weirder. Uh, until then, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!